and that. Hallelujah. Because Jesus cast the demons out of the man and they went into the pigs and they said, we don't want you here. So Jesus said to them, don't come with me. Go back and tell the people in the village. Yes. The next time Jesus turned up, everybody was out to see Jesus Amen. because they saw that man that he yes. got to touch. Anybody tonight, God touch you. Praise God. Yes. Amen. You don't want to be ungrateful. Anybody? No? Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Shall we praise the Lord? Sorry, Shall we praise Jesus the Lord? Jimmy. My brother Jim, I am so sorry that I had to squeeze <laughs> Squeeze them to get a little testimony. Praise the Lord. No, Allah. no, it's a matter of giving other people an opportunity Amen. to start. Anyway, greet you all in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. God is good. God Amen. is good. Amen. God has been so good to me. How can I let him down? I, how can I sit down Amen. and not rejoice? Because Praise this Jesus. is the day that he has made. Amen. We will rejoice and be glad in Him. And that's what He requires of us. To rejoice and be glad in Him. To exalt His name. To lift up the name of Jesus. Because He is worthy to be praised. He, you know, He said, they that worship Him must worship Him in spirit and in truth. And as we come tonight, you know, we serve an awesome God. It's been a very, very inspiring week. I can say I am blessed. Amen. I feel blessed. I feel wonderfully blessed Amen. tonight. You know, this morning, you know, his presence was just here with us in the midst. You know, there was only a few of us, but it didn't matter. God was here. Amen. You know, and he says, touching him is all that matters because our life will never be the same. Amen. You know, may God bless and keep you all. As we continue to build up our hope and our faith yes. in Him, because we know that is our substance. Amen. You know, Praise so let us continue to Praise trust God. God. Amen. 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 God bless Amen. you. Anyone else? One more person. Praise God. Hallelujah. You've got to touch Him. And Praise God. You're not ashamed to tell anyone. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want somebody to know that I get touched if I get a touch. Amen? Amen. Praise the Lord. That's not bribing you. That's just telling you. Amen. Hallelujah. You look in the Bible and they get a touch, apostle. And they go and tell somebody. Praise God. The Bible said it was noise abroad. Patricia. Amen. Lord. I know you trying to get you to say something. No, sir. I want to twist in your hands. Step up and say what you're saying. Praise the Lord. You want to come out here? No, you don't want anybody to see. Okay. Well, yeah, last night I was in healing and I have actually told a couple of colleagues of mine, I tried Amen. to encourage them to come, but my, my colleagues said, well, maybe next time. So, yeah, but I, I did explain to them about what's happened and, yeah, they, I think they started to believe. Amen. And I said, the next time I do come to church, I think she's going to come with me. Here tomorrow night, praise God. So, um, just share with somebody, amen. Thank amen. you, Patricia. Praise Lord, keep your touch, girl. Amen. Come in, man of God. Praise the Lord. I'm so delighted to have you here. Amen. May God bless you. Thank you, sir. Amen. 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 Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Praise the Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. We're glad to have you. Oh, I'm, I'm glad to be here. Amen. Oh, I'm glad to be here. I'm feeling drunk already. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It's all right. Hey, I'm drunk. I'm drunk. Hallelujah. Oh, it's coming down, down, down. It's coming down. Mm -hmm. Let the glory of the Lord. Yeah.
Somebody shout hallelujah. Come on again, shout hallelujah. Praise God, we are in the presence of the King. And the glory of the Lord is coming down, down, down. Hallelujah. The King of glory is in the house. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your hands. Who oh, in case you hang it down? Lift up your hands. Who oh, in case you be lifted up in everlasting doors? And the King of Glory shall come in. How do you have to expect you? You have to lift up your hands. You have to be in expectation. Hallelujah. Something is about to happen. And I don't want to miss it. I don't want to be gazing. I want to be, hallelujah, sensitive to what God is doing. The glory of the Lord is coming down. Some people, you know, they will have to carry out of here tonight. Hallelujah. Somebody's going to drink tonight. Hallelujah. Oh, somebody's going to get a drink tonight. Hallelujah. Of the new wine of heaven. Anyway, hallelujah. I, I, I was given some instructions. So let me give you, um, the man of God said, I should pray, pray for people tonight. Hallelujah. I'm going to pray for you tonight because I want you to smile. Some of you are smiling yet. I don't know why. I don't know what your husband did to you or your children did to you or what your boss did to you. Hallelujah. But you're in the right place. Hallelujah. You will leave here rejoicing and come back bringing. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Today, I want to talk about, hallelujah, the, the anointing of God because that is what you have been seeing the anointing, the presence, the power of God. Amen. Hallelujah. The spirit of God. Amen. He is the one that is in control. Amen. Amen. Oh, come on, yeah. Amen. Amen. We, I said he is the one in control. Amen. Hallelujah. I've seen the spirit of God move on some, some evangelists and some ministers and some, some intercessors. Amen. They were trying to, they were trying to stand up, you know. And they were trying to be all cute and nice. And here comes the Holy Ghost. And they were on the floor. Hallelujah. This is not a work of man. Some of you still believe that apostles is pushing people down. Hallelujah. And some of you are very scared. Hallelujah. You're calling. You said it's coming down, down, down. And when the glory start, you know, resting upon you, you, you you're scared. Hallelujah. But tonight, hallelujah, don't be scared. Hallelujah. God has something good for you. And let me warn you, when you see God touches you, hallelujah, his touch makes a difference. And you may not see the results now. Hallelujah. You may not see the effect of the touch tomorrow. But keep believing. I said keep believing. Hallelujah. God, he is not a God that wastes resources and waste power when god touches you hallelujah it's for a reason hallelujah and sometimes that touch is for a season it's for a reason and it's for a season somebody sees is about to change somebody life is about you cannot be in the presence of almighty god hallelujah and remain the same you call yourself a christian a child of god hallelujah a servant of god you serve god faithfully worshiping god faithfully giving to god faithfully preaching faithfully and you think that god is a man that you will lie or the son of man that will repent you think he will just have you here suffering hallelujah sad hallelujah vex while the world out there serving the devil and happy and glad hallelujah and rejoicing the devil is a liar in his presence there is fullness of joy and somebody is about to re listen your joy is about to be restored Hey, it's a scripture my wife likes. Hallelujah. I'm just flowing in the Holy Ghost. I'm going to stop praying just now. Hallelujah. The Bible says, after you've suffered a while. Hallelujah. Second is first Peter. Hallelujah. Two and ten or five and ten. After you've suffered a while. Hallelujah. The Lord says. He shall establish you. Amen. 
Amen. He shall settle you. Amen. God is about to settle somebody's business. Oh, come on, somebody receive it. I, I, I see somebody receive it. Somebody is about to settle you, your business. Somebody who has been tormented and frustrated. God is about to settle your business. Your story is about to change. We serve a God. Hallelujah. That is faithful. Amen. Let's deal with anointing. The anointing is God's enabling power. God wants to help somebody today. God wants to help you. He is a helper. The psalmist says, I will lift up my eyes to the hills, unto the hills from whence cometh my help, my help cometh from the Lord, which made the heaven and earth. He will not stop with thy foot to be removed. He that keep it Israel or slumber. He that keep it in his slumber sleep. The Lord is your keeper. Said the Lord is my keeper. I said the Lord is my keeper. The Lord is a shade upon my right hand. The sun shall not smite me by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve your soul. The Lord shall preserve you going out and coming in from this time forth, from tonight. Your story is about to change. God will keep you. And God will preserve you. And God will help you. And God will make a way for you. Where it seems to be no way. Our God still works miracles. He's still a God of signs and wonders. He said, I am the Lord thy God. And I change not. If he did it for the children of Israel, he will do it for you tonight. Amen. If you believe, say amen. amen. Your amen is weak. Somebody say amen. amen. I said the anointing, hallelujah, of the Holy Spirit. The anointing, hallelujah, is an enablement. It's a power. It's a power of the Holy Spirit to, en to enable you to do what you cannot do. Yes. Somebody say, help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit, hallelujah, is called the paraclete, the helper, the divine helper. Hallelujah. And some people from time to time, they say, I don't know what to say. That's why I don't come to prayer meeting. But if you just come to this prayer meeting and cry, Lord, help me here. Help me, Lord. Help me. Or if you don't know, hallelujah, my God, that God is a helper, ask blind back to me also. He said, Jesus, son of David, have mercy upon me. He was crying out for help. He was crying out for mercy. And today, the God of all mercy, and all grace is in this house. Amen. He will help you. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, the anointing is the overflow hallelujah, of the Holy Spirit through a human vessel. God has chosen you as his vessel. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. And he's put his spirit on the inside of you. The Bible said the anointing that you receive, hallelujah, abided in you. You need no man to teach you. For the same anointed teaches you all things. And it's truth. Hallelujah. There's an anointing on the inside of you. Say, I am anointed. Hallelujah. Say, I am anointed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Is God's power flowing in a human being? Hallelujah. And what you've been experiencing from time to time is the Lord, hallelujah, working through <laughs> ordinary vessels, chosen vessels, Hallelujah to carry out his divine purpose and plan. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. Now, quickly, they have three levels of the, 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 the Holy Spirit I want to deal with. And some of you know it. This is just like a refresher course. You heard these scriptures before. Hallelujah. It's the same King James Bible. Amen. Hallelujah. So you're going to hear the same word. But it may come a bit different. Hallelujah. Now, don't sign off. Hallelujah. Don't come. Don't, don't get lift up in pride. Hallelujah. It's a refresher course. Hallelujah. The presence of God is already here. Amen. Hallelujah. And the Holy Spirit works with the word. Amen. Hallelujah. Faith coming by hearing and hearing by the word. Amen. So the word that you hear will generate faith for you to receive what God is saying today. God is anointing his people for the next stage of the ministry, the next level in your business. Hallelujah. Next dimension. Hallelujah. In society. You are not, you will not remain at the same place. Hallelujah. Year after year. In the same community. At the same job. In the same position. 
and you call yourself anointed. No. Hallelujah. The anointing on your life is for acceleration, for speed. Hallelujah. It's an anointing, hallelujah, that is tangible, hallelujah, and dynamic. It's an anointing that brings about changes without the effort of man, without the help of government, without education, you can get to the top. With the anointing, I said with the anointing, you can outrun a chariot. Without, listen to me, with this anointing, you can do exploits in the name of Jesus. And that's what God will do. He uses the foolish things to confirm the wise. Hallelujah, he called a few people from the nightclub and the dance hall. Hallelujah, from the drug house, and from the whole house. Uh, hallelujah, from the cuss house. Mm -hmm. From the fighting house. Yeah. Where, whichever house. In ordinary people like you and I. Hallelujah. Whom people have rejected. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hurt, abused, ostracized, criticized, marginalized. Pushed them aside yeah. and left you to die. Some of us came into this country, they left us at uh, Gatwick Airport. We had to fend for ourselves. Some people sleep in the bus. Some people sleep until they cuss. Hallelujah. Some people fuss it. Some people sleep. They don't know what to do. They didn't know what to do with themselves. Did things that they didn't want to do. And the devil thought it was over for you. But look at you now. In 2023. Hallelujah. Sitting in the presence of Almighty God. Praising God. Testifying of the goodness of God. Hallelujah, my God. Listen to me. What the Lord is doing is marvelous in our eyes. What the Lord has done. Hallelujah. My God. If it had not been the Lord of a sign. I'm going to just flow. Hallelujah. Psalms, Psalms 124. Let's put it there. We're going to flow with the Holy Ghost. Anybody working this week? Yes. Psalms 124 quickly. Hallelujah. So can you pray for people? Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. A song of the decree of David. If it had not been the Lord who was on our side. Now may Israel say, verse 2. If it had not been the Lord who was on our side. When men rose up against us. Verse 3. Then they had swallowed us up. When their wrath was kindled against us. Somebody needs to relate to this. Maybe the young people cannot relate to this. But those who have been walking with God for a while, those who have been uh, through the waters and through the fire and through the flood, you can relate to this, hallelujah. Uh, from the time you accepted Jesus Christ, some of you, uh, it's like all hell has broken, uh, uh, broken, uh, broken against you. If it's not this, it's that. You've been through this, you went through that. How you were left alone, you were left to die. If it are not be the Lord on your side. Your friends that died, you would have been one of them. Those who had accidents, you would have been in that accident. All those that are in prison or went to prison, you would have been there. But somehow, I believe somebody was praying for you. And God answered that person's prayer. And now you're sitting in the presence of God, saved, sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost. Who am I talking to? You're still acting cute, like you saved yourself, like you took yourself through the pain, and like you took yourself to all of the sorrow, it wasn't you. Don't sit in the presence of God and lie. You know it was God. You know it was God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. 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 God, hallelujah. hallelujah. God had a problem with the religious people. I hope hallelujah. they're not here tonight. Jesus had a problem with the religious people. Hallelujah. Long guns and the white phylacteries and the hallelujah. And they were moving around. Hallelujah, like they, they were all, all, all that. Not knowing how they were brutes of vipers. Hallelujah, and snakes. Hallelujah. Don't let's pretend when God do something for you. Hallelujah, let the world know, blow your trumpet in Zion. That's why he give you the anointing. Hallelujah, that's why he put the anointing on your life. Hallelujah, so you can roar like a lion. Hallelujah, you can be bold as a lion. That's what he said, the righteous are bold as a lion. Hallelujah, today you have to have this anointing. Hallelujah, to fight your way and press your way and break through in these last times. Because the devil, hallelujah, is setting up his traps. And the devil is putting up 
up his, 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 his walls and he's trying to block us up in every side and on every side. But God is for us up. And God is with us up. And God is in us up. Come through the anointing of the Holy Ghost up. And if God is for us, and if God is for us up, who can be against us up? Children of God, God is doing something in you. And your friends will recognize up that the God that you're serving up is not Buddha, is not Ari Krishna, is not Allah, is not Aris Asalasia, is a true and living God, the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, the God of Answer my Father. I'm talking to your God. You said the quiet. I said he's Lord of Lords. He's King of Kings. He's the King of Glory. He's the Lord strong and mighty. He's the Lord mighty and battle. He is the Jehovah Jireh. Jehovah is the Jehovah of the Jehovah is the Lord. Jehovah Shama. I said he's a God and the Father of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And that's your God. I want you to shout Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We need to get excited about our God. How people get excited about their God. Some people call this football. Hallelujah. Some people call this football. Hallelujah. And you hear the behavior. They worship just like them. But they're trying to worship just like us. They sing about, oh, Messi. Messi. Ronaldo. Amen, Lord. They worship him. While they cute. Come in church and I not be in the Lord on my side. After all that he has done for us. Just and that's why we need the anointing. Now we are different levels. Hallelujah. There are different levels. Hallelujah. Thank and you. some people think that after they receive the first level, they're all right. They don't call for all of that. Why is he shouting? Why is he sweating? Why is he so loud? Turn on the mic. My hearing aid. Hallelujah. Hey, really? In heaven, none of that. Hallelujah, they're going to be shouting. Amen. In heaven. They're going to be dancing. In heaven. Amen. Hallelujah. They're going to be rejoicing. In heaven. Amen. And I'm preparing for heaven. Amen. I don't know what you're preparing for. Hallelujah. You're preparing for Mark, but I'm preparing for heaven. Amen. I'm practicing here now. Amen. Hallelujah. Because I know where I'm going. Amen. Where joy bells are ringing. Amen. And happy children are singing. I know where I am going. I know, yes, I know. You have to know where you're going and you have to prepare to get there. You have to you have to prepare. Amen. Hallelujah in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. There was a woman at the well. This woman, hallelujah, in John chapter 4, verse 10, verse 10 to 14. John chapter 4, verse 10 to 14. The first level, how the conversion level. Hallelujah, will be a seed with the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah, glory to God. Please read. Hallelujah. Jesus answered and said unto her, If thou knowest the gift of God, Hallelujah, who is it that said to thee, Give me to drink? Thou wouldest what? Ask of him. And he would give you, have given thee living water. Somebody say living water. Oh my God, the Bible said, He that is born of the flesh is flesh, but he that is born of the spirit is spirit. Nicodemus, I marvel not, I say unto you, you must be born again. If you're not born of the water and the spirit, you cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus says, Should I go into my mother's womb the second time I'll be born? Jesus says, My God, you are a leader, you are a teacher, and you don't know, hallelujah, my God, what I'm saying. If I'm telling you earthly things and you don't understand it, what much more if I tell you heavenly things? things up. You must be born again. And if you're, you're not born again, you cannot enter the kingdom of God. When you enter, hallelujah, when you're born again, you're born of the spirit. Hallelujah, the spirit of God, hallelujah, it indwells you. You're sealed with the Holy Spirit. And this is what Jesus was offering this woman. Hallelujah. And many of us sitting here, not all of us, have this experience of the living water, hallelujah, on the inside of you. The living water is a person, hallelujah, glory be to God. I said this living water is a person, hallelujah, glory be to God. Hallelujah, so tonight, hallelujah, just briefly, I'm not going to go too much into it because of my time, hallelujah, but Jesus wants you to know, hallelujah, that is a first, hallelujah, encounter with the Holy Spirit, the first one that you need 
to, to receive. Hallelujah is a conversion. This living water, the one that wells up unto in you unto eternal life. It's a living water. So it's a moving water. It's a flowing water. Hallelujah. And then we have, hallelujah, John chapter 7. We go to verse 37 and 38. Hallelujah. So that's the first experience. Hallelujah. Encounter with the Holy Spirit that each and every sinner Hallelujah, my God, can experience uh, every sinner, hallelujah, my God, have the ability or uh, the opportunity uh, to, be, to be born again, hallelujah, but they must receive Jesus, hallelujah, like you and I receive Jesus, hallelujah, glory be to God on the next level, hallelujah, the Bible says, in the last day, that great day of the feast, uh, Jesus stood and cried, saying, if any man thirst, uh, let him come unto me and what? Drink. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now remember you have when you're born again, you have living water in you. And someone must say, but I am I, I, I'm alright. I'm alright. I don't I, I'm satisfied. I, I have my church. Hallelujah. They have a, a grave behind the church. When I from the church into the grave, hallelujah. And I go meet Jesus and I'm alright. All this nonsense. I'm not into it. Hallelujah. All this antics. I'm not into I have my spot. You have your spot in church and you have your spot in the back of the church. Not this church. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Not this church. Amen. Praise God. And some people satisfied because they say, oh yes, I have I have living water in me. I don't want more no water. But Jesus Christ said you need more water. That's what he's calling. He said, Hallelujah. In the last day. The, I believe we in the last days. Uh, you guys are not answer me. Which church are you from? You're from this church. Amen. Amen. So, I said, oh, I didn't even get to honor the man of God. The man of God. The Bible, the Bible said, give honor to all this Jew. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's give God praise for God's servant. Hallelujah. Come on, Holly, come let's stand. Let's stand. Let's stand. Holly, clap your hands and give God praise for God's servant that God has used and spoken to to have me here today. Turn upon to God, my God, thank you for this privilege. Hallelujah. I hope you forgive me for not carrying you protocol. But I'm excited. You may take your seats now in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I even introduce my own name. Some people don't even know my name. But oh, once you know the name of Jesus, it's alright. Amen. Okay. Praise God. Let me go. Hallelujah. So the way of my scripture, the last day, that last day, we are in the last days. Hallelujah. And what you receive at conversion or hallelujah um, salvation is not enough no, no. there is more Amen. there are different levels and that's where God, God said I want to take you from faith to faith and from glory to glory and that's why the king of glory is here tonight to take you higher you don't have to settle hallelujah where you are there is more but he says hallelujah if anyone if anyone if any man if any woman hallelujah what hallelujah thirst let, let him come unto me and drink come unto me and drink I believe there's some drinkers in the house tonight. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. There's some drinkers in the house. If you weren't thirsty, you would not be here. Amen. Hallelujah. On Wednesday night. Amen. Huh? Coronation Street. Is it finished? <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. My God. You, you are here to drink. Hallelujah. You are here to drink. Jesus Christ called. And you answer the call. He said, if any man thirsts, let him come unto me and drink. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. It is written, he that believeth on me. He that believeth on me. Hallelujah. It is for believers. This Amen. next level. Hallelujah. Whereby you are baptized. Hallelujah. The Holy Ghost is for those who are saved. He that believeth on me. It's the ones that already believe. The one is for the ones that already, hallelujah, uh, are already converted or receive the indwelling spirit. You cannot have the baptism, the outpouring of God's spirit if you're not saved. You will not experience have the full manifestation of the glory of God if you're not saved. Even what I'm saying to you, it may sound like gibberish, hallelujah, terse, hallelujah. It sounds like what is he talking about? Because unless you are born again, 
unless you have the spirit of God, you cannot understand the word of God. That's why for some people, Christian or church is boring because they don't have the spirit. Or maybe want to receive the Lord, but they're, they're back into the world. And you can't serve two masters. Amen. God says, I'm jealous. Yes. Amen. So tonight you're here, you can come back home. Amen. I said, You can come back home. Amen. His arms are outstretched. Amen. It's not a place of condemnation. Amen. Hallelujah, it's a place of transformation. Amen. But Jesus is saying, How if you believe in me tonight? Oh, if you believe, as the scripture says, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Now, it's no more a well. This woman hallelujah, went to the well. Hallelujah, in the first instance, I didn't even get to explain more. She went to the well and she was saying, you know, Jesus asked her for water. And she said, oh, um, um, you know, if you were a Jew, why Jews don't have no dealings with the Samaritans? You guys know the story. Hallelujah. Jesus says, you know, if you know who's talking to you, you should ask me. And I will give you living water. And she said, give me the water. Give me the water. Hallelujah. That I will drink. I never thirst and have to come here again. Some of you are looking for answers. You're thirsty for joy. You're thirsty for peace. You're thirsty for prosperity. You're thirsty for blessing. Hallelujah. But Jesus is saying, Hallelujah. In me is everything that you're seeking and you're desiring. It's in me. Because it's in me. We live, we move, and have our being. Everything that you need is not in the world. Everything that you need is in Christ. And unless you connect to him, receive him, hallelujah, you will not have peace. You will not have joy. You will not have satisfaction. But that's just the first level. This woman said, give me, hallelujah, Amen. this water that I don't have to come again. I don't have, I, I, I'm Jesus Christ, hallelujah. Thank I believe Lord, thank him for hallelujah that experience me. when she realized that he was the Messiah. Hallelujah. hallelujah. She got happy. She was she was filled with joy. She ran, she left her water path and she went, my God, to the men. Hallelujah said, Come see a man that told me everything about myself. Hallelujah, Jesus. I'm just skipping through it because you guys know it. But the next level that I said, go back to 714, uh, seven, um, chapter 7 and verse 35 and and 26, he says, he that believed in me, as the scripture says, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Rivers is no more a well. Hallelujah. God don't want you to operate at that well level. He wants you to operate at the river level. At the well, there's so much you can do with a well. Hallelujah. You can maybe feed a community with a hell. A well. Hallelujah. Not hell. Hallelujah. You can feed a community. Maybe you can feed a, 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 a supply a home. Hallelujah. With a well. But when you have a river, hallelujah. My God, there's so much more you can do with a river. And God has called you for greatness. And God wants you to do great things. That's why he's calling you. He said, come on to me. Hallelujah. If you believe in me, I have more for you. Come to me and Drink, drink as much as you want because I want to fill you so that I can use you. I want to fill you so I can send you. Is there anybody want to go? Jesus Christ wants is looking for people that he can use as vessels. Hallelujah. That he can, hallelujah, bless nations with. Out of your bench and flow. Rivers of living waters. Rivers. Where the well is only maybe one person can draw at a time. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. But a river. Hallelujah. Anybody, they can jump in and bathe. They can do fishing. Hallelujah. They can do many great things with a river. More than what they can do with a well. Yes. And God is saying, I have so much more hallelujah, to do for you and through you and in you. Hallelujah. But you need to get thirsty again. You need to get thirsty again. Some of you taking it too easy. Some of you drying up your well, drying up. Hallelujah. Your river drying up. Hallelujah. Co walking on your bank. Hallelujah. Your river drying. Your river drying. Circumstances drying your river. The river is affected by a climate, by the climatic condition. The well 
is affected by climatic conditions. Sometimes the climate is hot, and some of you get hot and get miserable. Hallelujah, because, hallelujah, the climatic condition, the situation, the circumstances, this is at the well level, you can be affected by your surroundings. Hallelujah, when you're born again, hallelujah, sometimes some people born again are still cause. Hallelujah, they're affected by their children, they're affected by their husband. Every little thing moves them at that level, that well level, at the river level. Some people, hallelujah, yes, they speak in tongues, hallelujah, and they dance in church, but when circumstances again come up, when the climate change, when things start getting tougher, hear them, hear hallelujah, talking like the world, confessing negative things, they are affected by what they're going through. Hallelujah, they're not focused, they are affected by what people say. At that level, both the well level and hallelujah, the river level, you can be affected by what you're going through. But God doesn't want you to stay there. God has another level for you. Hallelujah, this level is called the rain level. Somebody said, let it rain. Let it rain. Open the floodgates of heaven and let it rain. Come on, somebody said, let it rain. Let it rain. Let it rain on me. Hallelujah, Zechariah chapter 10 and verse 1. Let it rain, let it rain, let it rain. Hallelujah, it's coming down, down, down. It's coming down. When the glory of the Lord is coming down. When the saints begin to walk. And the Lord shall have his way. And the glory, and the glory of, of the Lord is coming down. Uh -huh. Which color is it? It's coming down in the form of rain. Hallelujah, it's another level. Hallelujah, don't settle for the born again level. Hallelujah, don't settle for the 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 the, the, the talk talking level. That level is good. Hallelujah, but that doesn't mean that you've arrived. You can still be moved. You can still be shaken by the the storms of life. And many of us here, Hallelujah, from time to time we are shaken by the storms of life. Things come our way and make you question whether or the tongues that you're talking is a real tongues. Hallelujah, make you feel as though question your salvation. Hallelujah, make you check yourself 25 times to see where you have missed the mark. You're speaking in tongues. You know you're casting out devils, but sometimes the devil feel like they, you feel like the devil is casting you out. Today, I want you to know you don't have to settle there either. God has a plan for you. God has a work for you. God has a position for you. God has, my God, hallelujah, something for you to do that is going to take more than a well, the well level, and the river level. But God wants you, hallelujah, to be like a, like, like a, uh, a, 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 not, not turning, not turning, we call this a torrential rain and outpouring, and outpouring. Do you know about the outpouring? The Bible said in the last days, I'm going to pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Hallelujah, my God. With the well, the well you can't satisfy all flesh. Hallelujah. With the river you can't satisfy all flesh. But the, with the rain, hallelujah, somebody's going to get soaked tonight. Hallelujah, somebody's going to get wet, wet, wet. wet. So, so, so. Hallelujah. It's raining all around me. All around As ye of the Lord, what? In the time of the what? Lottery. So the Lord shall make bright clouds and give them showers of rain. To everyone grass in the field. Stop right there. 
you have to ask. You have to ask. And the asking signifies praying. You have to pray for the rain. That's why we're having these moves. The move that we're having here, hallelujah, for the past two, three days, is because people have been asking. From the very first time I came here, I heard Bishop asking for the outpouring of the Spirit of God. The infilling, and not for himself. He's asking for the church. Amen. He's crying out for you and for me. Yes. He knows the importance of this reign, of the anointing, of the pre or of the presence of God, the Holy Spirit. If the presence of God is not in the house of God. The house can be called Ichabod. You know what I mean, Ichabod? The glory has departed. If you don't come to prayer meeting and cry out, God forbid you may not have a church. The man of God was teaching us today, this morning, about how we have to, when we come to pray, how is a, is a wrestle, is a warfare, is a fight, because there, there's opposition. You might be saying, I'm all right. I don't need to come to church. I pray at home. I have my closet. Closet leaks sometimes. Sometimes they rot in closets. Worms in closet. Sometimes you need to come out of the closet. And find your own company. Yeah. Put away the pride. The enemy is setting some people up. Amen. To destroy them. Amen. Through isolation. That's what he's trying to do globally. Have a body looking at a phone. Amen. Hallelujah. And not looking to the throne. Hallelujah. Not coming to the altar. Can I come to the altar on Zoom? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. But anyway. I heard I have another day. I want to come back tomorrow, so smile. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Finish up four weeks. The Lord is saying, ask for the rain. It's another level. It's another level. It's a glorious level. Some of you have experienced that level. I'm here to help you to get to that level. We, when you start praying, the heavens open. Here comes the rain. When you stand to worship, the heavens open. Here comes the rain. You're doing evangelism, the heavens open. People start getting healed and delivered. Hallelujah. God wants you to operate under an open heaven, not a closed heaven. Remember when Elijah prayed? heaven to be shut up for three and a half years. There was dryness all around. There was dryness. And this church will not be dry. Amen. This church will not be lifeless. Uh, your amen is a kind of weak. Maybe you guys come from another church. Anybody from another church? Are you, you belong here? Amen. I said this church will not lack rain. This church will not lack water. Hallelujah. This church will remain fruitful. Hallelujah. This church, hallelujah, will remain prayerful. Hallelujah. People will come and be fed here because the Lord is our shepherd. Amen. And we will not want, we shall not lack. He makes us a light of in green pastures. This place, hallelujah, is about to produce again. Abundantly because of what God is doing now. The rain comes before the harvest. Hallelujah. Right now, we are saying, God, Hallelujah, we need the rain. Lord, 
We are asking you for the rain. We are in the last days. You said the glory of the of the latter house shall be greater than the former. Rain signifies glory. And the glory of the latter house is greater than the former. You've experienced some rain in the past. But some people are dry. God is about to open the heavens once more. Hallelujah. And pour out of rain upon you. And you're going to be wet, 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 wet. And soak, soak, soak. And anyone that you touch, hallelujah, what you're carrying, hallelujah, they will be affected by it. When you are so hallelujah, if they hug you, what you carry, they will receive it. They will be affected by it. And that's what God wants you to do. To start affecting your co-workers. And you start affecting your children. Your husband is acting crazy. Say, baby, come, baby, come. Hallelujah, come. Give me a kiss. Hold me tight, baby. When you finish, you stagger it. What's happening with you? You shake your hands. Hallelujah. What you're carrying, hallelujah, start affecting them. Amen. Hallelujah. That's what God wants us to do. One more scripture. Joel chapter 2 and 23. You need to ask. Joel 2, yeah, 23. Joel chapter, Joel chapter 2 and verse 23. Be glad. Somebody's smiling. <laughs> you guys read it. It's God said be glad. And some people look sad. Be glad then ye children of Zion. Say that's me. That's me. Hallelujah. I rejoice in the Lord your God. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. For he had given you, because you asked, he had given you the form of rain. That's why you were blessed. That's why some of you are so blessed. That's why some of you are being used by God. That's why things are happening. That's why you can praise God. Because God has done many great things for you in the past. Amen. That's why the songwriter says, when I think of the goodness Oh, of Jesus and all that he has done for me. My soul. Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Amen, Lord. Why can you shout it? Because we know what the Lord has done. And if he did it before, he's going to do it again. The Bible says we should rejoice. Hallelujah. Because he had given us what? The former rain. Mother rain. Some people get the mother rain blessing and they leave the church. I ain't coming back no more. That is just a multiple blessing. And if God is blessing you in a particular place, where are you moving for? Where are you going? It's true. Huh? Amen. Because people don't know God. God says if you're faithful with a little, yes. Amen. much is coming. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Much is coming. I said much is coming. Yes. March is coming. So let's finish here. I said, my God, the Bible says, for he had given you the former rain moderately. And he, somebody said Jesus. Somebody said Jesus. And he, somebody said the Holy Ghost. My God. And he will cause to come down. From where? It's coming down, down, down. How do come down for you? For you. The rain. The former and the latter rain. In the first month. Today can be your first month. Listen, rain signifies abundance, blessing, provision. And God knows that some of you need some abundance. He knows. That's why Jesus says, I came that you might have life and you might have it more abundantly. He came to give you abundance. More than enough. Good measure. Press down. Shake it together. And run it over. He wants you to have more than enough. That's why you cannot settle for the well. You can't settle for the river. You need the rain. 
And then there's a last song. Say, Holy Spirit, breathe. That one is too high for me. Come help me. Yeah. I'm on TV, so please help me. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit, breathe. That's it. Mm -hmm. Everyone says, You're asking the Lord now for the latter rain. Sing that song. Anybody know that song? Any prayer and worship leader? You come here and please stand and, and help me sing that song. He said, Ask for the rain. Anybody, Bishop, do you have any worship leaders here that can sing? Huh? I told the people in Essex was stoosh. You guys are more stoosh. Yeah. Holy Spirit. That's right. Tonight. 
I really want to be saved. I need my life to be changed. I need Jesus. The second call, maybe you want to save. You give your life to Christ. You were baptized. You were filled with the Holy Spirit. You spoke in tongues. But something happened. And now discouragement, pain, circumstances push you away from God. You're not where you should be. You're, you're backslidden. And you're saying, Tonight, I don't want to live here the same. I'm going to recommit my life to Christ. It's between you and the Lord. Nobody's asking what you did and who you did it with and when and how. No. It's between you and God. Search your heart and the last God. Maybe there's someone you're not too sure about your salvation. You're not too sure whether if you if you put your head on your pillow tonight and your breath is taken from you, you're not sure. But you say hey, tonight, I want to be sure. Put away pride. Even if you're a minister, pastor, apostle, it doesn't matter. You will not be called by the title on the day of judgment. Today is your day. Don't miss your opportunity. What God has for you, don't let pride stop you from receiving it tonight. If you fit any of the three categories, put your hand up and say, please pray for me, Pastor. Please pray for me. Just say, please pray. Just lift your hands. Don't let no devil in hell stop you. You know where you are. You know where you are. And you know where you need to be. And you're saying, tonight is my night. Tonight is, I'm not leaving here the same. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. If you say, please, have a pray for me. Now those who have their hands raised, put the devil to shame and come to the front. Come, over to the front. Clap your hands and them. Come, come. Help them to come. Bring them quickly. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. I will stand right here. Come on, those who lift their hands, come. Don't be ashamed. Don't be ashamed. Come on. Come on, hallelujah. I see more hands. Come, clap your hands. Clap your hands for Jesus. My God, hallelujah. You, man, hallelujah. Come, 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 come. I see some more hands. Come, my sister, don't be shy. Come. 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 Somebody shout hallelujah. Come on, somebody shout hallelujah. There are two persons there. The enemy is setting you up. I'm looking at the clock. The enemy is setting you up. I'm going to count to three. Please get up and come and let the Lord fix your business. Hallelujah. Please. One, come. Two, come. Three, come. Come, 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 come. Come quick, come, come. Come, I'm calling you. Jesus is calling you. Jesus is calling you. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus is calling you. Come, 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 come. One more. One more. Jesus is calling you. One more. Come. Please. Please, Jesus is calling you. It's on the same one side here. There's one more person on this side. God wants you to recommit your life to him. Amen. Now, while I pray for them, you still have an opportunity to come. Lift your hands, please, all of you. You're listening to Jesus. You're listening to Jesus. Come, come over here, sister. Come. Yeah. Praise the Lord. That's it, too. Let us stand in the light. Stand in the light, please. Lift your hands. Repeat this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus. Church, let's say it with them. Amen. Say, Lord Jesus. I come to you today. I believe with all my heart that you are the Christ, the Son of the living God. I believe you came into this world 
to die for my sins and the sins of the entire world. I believe you were buried according to the scriptures and on the third day God raised you from the dead. Lord Jesus, please forgive me of every sin that I have committed. Wash me and cleanse me with your precious blood. Come into my heart. Live in me. Be my Lord and my personal Savior. From today, I make you the Lord of my life. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me now. Thank you, Jesus, for setting me free now. Your word says, your word says, for whom the Son has made free is free indeed. I am free because Jesus, you have made me free. Fill me with your spirit and your power and use me for your glory in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Shout hallelujah. Come on, shout hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. I'm going to start praying with you first here. Hallelujah. All right. We have time because of time.
You will fulfill, hallelujah, your call. You will finish school. You will finish it. You will not drop out. You will not be pregnant at a young age. You will not run away. In the name of Jesus. And any girl that's watching you, eh? any girl that's watching you, that spirit, we curse that devil in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You shall be who God has called you to be. As I lay my hands upon you, I decree and declare freedom. Fear is leaving you. Fear is leaving you. Fear is leaving you. Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. I see the power of God is on her. She's trying. She, she's like, she's trying to stand up. She doesn't understand. But it's Jesus. Just trust him. Trust him. He's not going to hurt you. Just trust him. Let go. I'm not going to push you down. The Spirit of God is touching you. Jesus is touching you. Yes, he's touching you. 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 Just stand up. Let me know. Listen, you will not be hurt. You can sue me. Jesus will never hurt you. It's a sweet presence. That's good. You. You, you're gonna, you're gonna dance. You're gonna smile. It's lovely. It's beautiful. Trust the Lord. He's here. He said, lay hands on His people. Yes. Here He comes again. Oh yes, yes. I tell you, yes. Here He comes. He's touching you. He's touching you. He is touching you. Oh, you see, hold back there. There's someone behind you. There's someone. There's someone behind you. These young people, they have to be empowered. They have to be empowered. They have to be empowered. She has the experience. Don't be afraid. These children, they need a fire. They need a fire. If they're not filled with the spirit, they will be filled with the world. You can't just touch people and anoint them and, and, and no. Everybody stands here, they're coming with something different. And the Holy Spirit is going to minister to everyone differently. Someone just get a touch and they receive. We cannot rush the Holy Ghost. But we have to respect that. Yeah. Hallelujah. So Father, in that we break every curse and every plan of the devil, every curse and every plan of the devil, this child is great. Yes, yes, attitudes are changing, desires are changing in Jesus' name. Don't step back. The Lord is touching you. I pray for you one more time. Time is going in Jesus' name. Don't hold her up. Amen. God sometimes they put people down on the and then they get an operation like this. While they're on the floor, he speaks to them. He gave them vision. Amen. Amen. That's why the power of God. Amen. Amen. So when you hold them up, it's like you try. I'm not just yeah, thanks. Come, come. I don't have to do this class. All right, you can go back, my sister. Jesus, say, what's your name? Sh Shayana. Very good name. Stay in school. Stay in school. Go to college. Go to college. Go to college. The power of God is upon her. Hold her on. Go to college. Finish college. You're going to go to university. Yeah. In the name of Jesus, yeah. you will become a businesswoman. Yeah. Businesswoman. In Jesus' name. Jesus. Businesswoman. In Jesus' name. Come again, man. Hallelujah. Come clap your hands for her. Hallelujah. Give your hands up. Jesus' name. I guess this is your brother. Yes. Hey, yeah, yeah. Son. Hey. Okay. Give your hands. Amen. Hallelujah. Mommy loves you. Amen. And she wants the best for you. Amen. Hallelujah. She's seen too many things. She, she heard too many stories, young men, and, and, and you know, she loves you. Hallelujah. And the Lord loves you. Spirit of the living God. I thank you for arresting this young man. Hallelujah for the kingdom. And saving him from every plan of the enemy. Yes, the Lord is touching you. Yes, he can feel it. This young man can feel it. He's sensitive. He can feel the power. Yes, it's coming upon him. Holy Ghost. Yes, every plan 
every addiction, every habit, in the, every anger, in the name of Jesus, is leaving. Go! In Jesus' name. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Yes, he's touching you. Don't, don't resist. It's Jesus is touching He's doing something sweet for you, my brother. He's doing, you can feel your heart. You can feel your heart. Something is happening on the inside of you. It's Jesus. He's there. What I preach about, you're experiencing right now. Right now. Right now. Here he comes again. Here he comes again. Here he comes again. Here he comes again. The Holy Ghost is touching you. Right now. Holy Ghost. Power! Receive. 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 Yes. Receive. 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 Hallelujah. You shall be great. You shall be great. Power of the Holy Ghost. You use it, the family. Use it. They shall be no loss. I speak blessing upon you. Oh, failure is not an option. Don't give up, young man. Don't give up. Don't give up. You miss some opportunities, they're going to come again. Jesus loves you. And we love you. Be blessed. May the fire of God burn in you. May you lead in your generation. Snatch those that are in hell or go to hell. Snatch them out. Go and get them. From today, my course, that way. Take your hands off of him. Take your hands off of him. Go! In Jesus' mighty name. Be blessed. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Woo! You have a good boy there. How many have? Five? Oh, one more. I'm joking. Hallelujah. And I loved it. Hallelujah. Uh, and I loved it. Jesus. Woman of God. Keep preaching. What you make happen for others, God will make happen for you. Hallelujah. I see doors opening the sunset. Disgusting. Yeah. Doors are going to open. The everywhere you go, hallelujah. God says, hallelujah. How beautiful are the feet, mm. hallelujah, of them that preach the gospel of peace Man. and bring glad tidings. You see these feet? Mm. One is named glad and the other one is tidy. Amen? Amen. Wherever you go, there's going to be the fire, the words going to shut up in your bones. You're going to have to be clear. You're going to have to release it. Hallelujah. You have a voice. You will be heard. Amen. You will fulfill destiny. I am releasing this anointing upon you. Open heaven. Open heaven. Open heaven. You're going to dream again. You're going to dream again. Don't get upset with people. Don't get, just keep smiling. I see God is going to raise you up. You're going to be bigger. You're going to go to the homes. Sinners. They're going to call you. They're going to minister to you. And you're going to receive deliverance. And you're gonna follow you. Don't start the church. Don't draw them to yourself. Bring them to the house. And in due season, as you remain faithful, here it comes. As you remain faithful, hallelujah, you will see what God's gonna do with you and your family. In Jesus' name. Somebody clap your hands. Come on, it's not a show. Hallelujah. You see these people. I stayed a little long minute to you. Don't be hurry to come up. Come on, sister. I like you. You're nice, beautiful, smart. I like everybody. Amen. No one is going to get jealous. Amen. And you're going to sing. You're going to sing. I see you singing. Woo! Hallelujah. I see you singing and tears. Just flowing down 
your face. God's going to change many things about you. It's not too late. Stay with God. Miracles, miracles, miracles from one to another to another. And anyone, hallelujah, that has spoken, that have done anything evil to you, God will repay them. Don't fight. Don't fight. It's a new beginning for you. A new beginning. New beginning. Here it comes. The Spirit of God. Take it. The Spirit of God. Come on. Come. And yeah, don't let your fall. Don't let your fall. I'm going to hold it. Eh? Yeah. Father. But if you want her to fall, let your will be done. Okay. Hold her. Hold her. Hold her hands. Hold her. She's going. She's going. It's just, is, the lead, is the Lord doing this? I'm trying. Look, just receive. Receive, drink, 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 drink. That's it. Hallelujah. Now, God knows what he's doing. Before you sleep on me, come. Hallelujah. I don't want you to sleep. Hallelujah. You stand right here. Come, man. What do you want Jesus to do for you? Now, I'm going to ask you what you want God to do for you. Amen? If you just come to spend in, that's fine. But there are people receiving. Now, when the Holy Spirit touches you, he knows what you want. The Lord knows what you need before you ask. Amen. I don't know. Hallelujah. It's not my business. Okay? God is here. You think, you think I'm going to push down people. Some of you still think I'm pushing people down. Especially those in the back. You think I'm pushing people down. Eh? No. Jesus is doing it. Hallelujah. Come here, come here, my sister. Anytime you I push anybody, somebody slap me. Amen. And give me a right hook. Hallelujah. Push down, push down, mommy, and push down, uncle, and no. no. So give me a right hook. Lift your hands, mom. Every spirit of infirmity is leaving you, but your work is not finished. And your time is not now. Every complication within your system, within your organs, by the fire of the Holy Ghost, those infirmities are coming out. It's leaving you. It's burning up now. In Jesus' name, right now. Every spirit of infirmity, go right now. Go, 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 go. Somebody say go. Somebody say go. Go. Sickness will not take you out. You will fulfill your days. You will. You didn't come to this country. I hope you weren't born. Were you born here? Okay. You didn't come to this country to get sick. I have to go back to Jamaica, not Jamaica, Jamaica. Hey, go back to Jamaica with a stick. Amen. No, I cancel it. I cancel it. I cancel every lies of the devil. Hallelujah. Mm. Oh, I see a, a number of, 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 of complaints. It's a spirit of informality. If it's not this, it's the other. And the medication created more side effects. But today, every negative side effect is cursed. It will be flushed out of your system. God is going to add 10 years. You're going to look 10 years younger than today. God will renew your youth. Whatsoever they have given to you to destroy you, it will not work. It will not work. It will be reversed by fire. And as I lay my hands upon you, the power of God will come upon you. And every sickness and every disease and every pain and every symptom is leaving. Is leaving. The Lord, the Lord wants to touch himself. The Lord wants to touch himself. Yes, 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 yes. Here he comes. Thank you, Holy Ghost. From the crown of our head to the soles of our feet. In Jesus' name. Receive power. Receive. 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 It's yours. Take it. Take it. Take it. Come on, take it. Hallelujah. Take it, mommy. Take it. Take it. Take it. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' mighty name.
time's sake, that, that spirit is going to go. For time's sake, I'm going to be here tomorrow. Oh, I pray for uh, well, one more person that I have to uh, pass because of time. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. I'm here tomorrow. I don't want this all to be. Come give me. Um, what is this class? I come, let me pray for you. I'm here to come. Come, come. Hallelujah. I'm here tomorrow. Hallelujah. Pastor want me to pray for everybody, but the time. Lift your hands. Amen. Arise, shine for the light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Go stand pray, KT Bondo Ho. Ye Bako no Robo Sonia. Be Bando. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. You shall mount up. Word of God. You shall mount up. Word of God. Oh, and in, I, I just tell you, just be planted. Just be planted. I can see you. I can see you. I can see you. I know your name is out there in the post. On, 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 on. I think it's one of your photographs out there. Yeah. I, I see your photograph moving. It's not moving out, but it's moving up. Amen. Don't let don't let hurricane, bulldozer, Gilbert, nobody blow you out of here. Don't let nobody, husband, children, hallelujah, sickness, nothing, nobody. Woman, you have a place in this. It's like you are a pillar. You are a pillar in this place. Now you are a pillar. You are a pillar. You are a pillar. Well, the enemy don't want you to fall. Don't want you to Okay, and there's some people that are jealous of you, girl. They're jealous. They're jealous. Oh, they know, they see. Hallelujah. Oh, but woman of God, today I'm here to restore you and to encourage you. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. Holy Bekata, Holy Spirit. Set her on fire. Fire the Holy Ghost. Such as I have, I give unto you in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Rabbi Kiyado, they propose a fire in Jesus' mighty name. They can't stop you. The fire of God is coming upon you, surrounding you. You're going to be a trailblazer. A trailblazer. That's what I say. You will be carrying a trail, and that trail will be blazing. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, woman of God. Hallelujah. Your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Hallelujah. And God will reward your faithfulness. The Bible says it's not unrighteous to forget. Hallelujah. Your labor of love and commitment and dedication and sacrifice. Hallelujah. And time. God hand is upon you. And you shall make it. And you shall do, hallelujah, what God has called you to do with excellence. And as you yield, hallelujah, you have to carry this. You have to carry it. You have to carry it. She's a carrier. She's a carrier. She's a carrier. Pray back up. Pick up again. She's a carrier. She's going to carry the glory. Come on. I'm going to pray for two more. Hallelujah. Come on. 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 As I touch your ear, your ear will hear. You shall prophesy. You shall hear and speak. Thus says the Lord. You shall speak. And listen, don't hold back. The more God take you up, sit in the church, fix the chair, clean the wall, pick up paper, play the drums, learn the keyboard. Hallelujah. Do everything that your hands want. And the more you serve, the greater the anointing will be upon your life. Let God take you out. Stay humble and serve. 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 Let the glasses come, please. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. Guys, I don't want to fall into the bishop. I'm going to be here tomorrow. I want to pray for everyone. I will pray for you. Hallelujah. 
Monday I saw you, I, I didn't get you yesterday. I need you today. God needs you. What, what would you like God to do for you right now? What do you want? So many things. Amen. You need the rain there. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. You need the rain. Check the Are you married? Yeah. Jesus, Satan's power can stand before us. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, you have the victory over everything that you see. It will, it will vanish like smoke. Today, the rain is coming. I am telling you, woman of God, Hallelujah. Yes, here we go, The rain is coming. The rain is coming. Here it comes. Here it comes. He's dealing with them one by one. Even in your home. Even in your home. He's visiting your home. Like he visited that, 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 that sharp man we name again. Zacchaeus. Salvation is coming to your home. I don't know, but if somebody's drinking in your home, I see somebody drinking in your home, like alcohol, like beer, drinking. Yes, and sometimes they don't smoke inside, but they smoke outside. And that spirit that's coming from that individual is trying to destabilize your home and frustrate your life. But in the name of Jesus, the Bible says the sanctified wife, sanctified the husband, and even the children are sanctified. Amen. You are a, a bridge, an intercessor. Don't stop praying. Don't stop crying. Hallelujah. Don't stop waiting on God. They are talking about you and think that you're crazy and they think that you're wasting time. And if there's a God, why this and why that? These are things that they're saying about you. But God is vindicating you now. Today is your day. And I command right now that foul spirit that is following you and your family. Leave now. Leave, I command you. I command you. Leave, 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 leave. Leave. Your time is up. Your time is up. I'm feeling anointing and I'm feeling a foreign pushing me down like you said, I'm going down. Hallelujah, I'm falling. But I know the Holy Ghost uh, and the Holy Spirit wants to help you, but you don't want to help uh, because maybe you think, hallelujah, my God, uh, that this is not hallelujah, God, but it is God. In the name of Jesus, devil, I command you to leave her. Every problem, every heaviness, every burden, every setback, I curse it in Jesus' name. I command you to leave. I command you to go. I command you to go. Your time is up. Leave her now. Lose her now. Lose her possession. Lose her wealth. Lose her children. Lose her husband. Lose her business. There's a business in you. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You see? You can get it. Yeah, I know you can. Lift your hands. Now you, you open it. Now you see you can hurt yourself. Receive. There's a business in you. How did you want to make it to? Where are you from? England. You go born here. Born here. Right. Born here. Why? Good. Wonderful. There's a business in you. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They will see your God from today. They will see your God from today. Here he comes. 
He is anointing you yeah. with yeah. fresh oil. Hallelujah, my God. You still rest if you are doing the God's going to do. If you fight God, He's going to make you roll on the floor and you look like a crazy woman. All your ears stick up. And so, you don't mind. You don't mind. Okay. Fire in Jesus' name. Fire. 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 Fire of the Holy Ghost. 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 Church of God, people here to shout amen. God bless you. God bless you. 